stay here, please? I'm going to get his attention. There's, there's two conveyors, one coming from each of the twin tunnels, and that brings the uh, the tunnel spoil or muck, as we refer to it, out to the surface here. And then this backhoe that you see right here, this Cat 385, uh, collects that muck and puts it in the, the dump truck. I'm Gary Kramer, the resident engineer for Metrolinx on, on this country. Well, most patrons won't even see it because, you know, they're sitting inside a train and they'll be running along. It'll be very similar to what you see on the, uh, the subway on Yonge and the Blur. So, it's, yeah, it'll be uh, enclosed and, and very fast because you don't have to worry about traffic conditions. The trains move along at their own pace and uh, they don't have to uh, wait for congested traffic. So this train is going to come forward. It's got uh, a set of six segments which constitute one full ring. And the, the segments are oriented uh, perpendicular to the tunnel alignment. Then as the train gets into this area here, the segments will be rotated 90 the degrees. These lifting uh, bars here will, will, will actually come up and lift the segments off the car. Then the car will move back out. They've got a, a device here to pick up. It's called a vacuum lifter that actually picks the segments up by using a vacuum lift, not, not a mechanical lift. It, it's a suction that, that grabs the segment, picks it up, and then they can move it forward to the heading, and then they can do there's an, what's referred to as an erector arm that rotates and installs the rings. It's a 100-year design life minimum. The segments are designed for durability uh, with respect to you know, the groundwater conditions as well as the, the trains operating inside.